Hey guys, it's Suited. Um, this is going to be my first video in what's going to become a series of videos on I've Low Stakes No Limit Hold'em. From my experience, you can find uh, a lot of information on No Limit Hold'em that fits into higher stakes play and tournament play. Um, but there really isn't a great deal of literature when it comes to live low stakes no limit hold'em, particularly one two, one three, two four, and two five games. Um, Angel Largue did come out with a book, uh, No Limit No Limit Texas Hold'em: The Complete Course, and he talks about live low stakes play and how it's a different game, and he talks about different things. And uh, you can find some stuff like on two plus two. Or there's a, a few articles and stuff that talk particularly about live low stakes no limit hold'em but there really isn't a lot of information out there um, most stuff that you'll find uh, correlates with um, I guess for a lack of a better phrase real poker like what the pros play what you see Ivy, Negranu, and uh, Dwan playing on TV that where people are raising three times the big blind and that's normal and that that just doesn't happen at live low stakes um, like in these games raising doesn't raising is never going to narrow the field if someone has a hand they want to play they're going to play it for two dollars they're more than likely going to play it for fifteen dollars uh, which brings up a lot of different things that I'll talk about at some point but um and I'm not saying that the the advice the pros give doesn't carry over to this game, but Live Low Stakes No Limit Hold'em is really a different game. Um, and if you want to crush the stakes, then you need to play a different style than the pros employ. And I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about what I do, the the strategy I've decided to start using, because um, I used to play online a lot and. Even uh, the ten twenty five game online, ten cent twenty five cent game, those players are probably I don't know, but they're a lot better than the players that you're going to find at the casino playing one two and uh, most two five games. Um, even that game, that the the ten twenty twenty five cent game online. Raising three times the big blind is normal, like, and people fold, and but it's not what you're going to find at the casino. These people, some of them, like, the depth of their experience is they watch poker a few times on TV, or they played a home game. They don't really know how to play this game, and what you're going to find if you've never played Live Low, uh, live low Stakes No Limit Hold'em is that when people raise, um... They're gonna be raising to like fifteen, twenty dollars, and you're gonna be like, "Wow, that's a that's a large, large portion of your stack," which is why you're gonna to have to play a different game. Um, and what you're gonna find out, um, if you don't already know, is like if you get three bet here, the majority of the time, depending on the player, there's a there's a couple players you'll run into, but they're very few and far between. That if they three bet you. Um, it's either aces or kings, and it may just be aces. Um, a lot of players won't do it with anything else other than that at these stakes. Um, like, but like I said, there are a, a couple of players that you might run into that uh, are a little more aggressive and understand the game a little better. Um, but as as you can see, like this, what I have on the screen right here, um, what I've had up this entire time is uh, what I've done over the past since April 16th. Um, today's June 4th as of right now. Um, I just I started recording on the 16th. Um, I've, I've been playing live at the casino um, for about a year and I didn't keep track of what I had been doing and what I had been winning. I just, you know, I made enough to pay rent, I paid, made enough to eat, yada yada yada. But I decided to uh, start taking it a little more seriously and um, documenting how well I do, the things I do, uh, the, the strategy I'm playing, type, type uh, how am I trying to say this? Like, I use Poker Stove to break down hand, like hand ranges for myself, and I'll try out different things and see how it well does. And I'm to a point where 
I think I think I'm just gonna stick to this hand range that I have set up now, which I'll talk about later. Um, but yeah, since April 16th, which is um, about a month and a half now, uh, which I haven't put in a lot of time this during that period of time because uh, my girlfriend and I just had a baby, so um, I haven't really got to put in too much time, but I've tried to put in some time at least. So I've got about 130 hours in the last month and a half, which really isn't uh, very big sample size but in that time I've made uh, 3900 and I'm averaging like $30 an hour and about 20 big well this says 20 bits this says $42 an hour but it doesn't add up right I don't understand that but whatever we can just say it says $42 an hour um, at each session I average about $150 and my standard deviation is 235 which is it jumped up because last week about eight days ago I had like the worst session of my life um, uh, well if it started out um, if you don't know like if a dealer's dealing your cards and the first card they deal to you they flip it over and it's their fault or even if it's the second card if they flip it over and it's their fault that card becomes the burn card and they deal you another card well the dealer was dealing to me and she flipped over my first card and it was an ace and lo and behold my second card is an ace and I, I just pff, I just mucked my hand before I even before the flop but it turns out the guy beside me had kings and I would have stacked him so I mean I didn't lose money in that hand but it kind of it was kind of the downhill slide because uh, in an orbit later I'm in the big blind and I have 7-4 and it's limped around to me and the flop comes king 4-4 four, four, and I have 7-4 so I just flopped uh, three fours um so i bet out this guy raises me i re-raise him and he shoves and i call he has king five offsuit like i don't even know what this guy's thinking i'm so happy that he did this i'm sure that i'm doubling up um turns a five rivers a five yeah he run a runner a bigger full house than me okay fine that happens i guess uh, a couple hours later I'm in the small blind this time. It's limped around, and I put in another dollar with jack four of diamonds. The flop comes ace, king, two, all diamonds. So I just flopped the second best flush. So I lead out, one guy calls, everyone else folds. The turn's a blank, no diamond, pair, board doesn't pair. Cool. So I bet the pot again on the turn. The river's another blank, no diamond, and no paired board. So I have the second nuts. At this, I don't know how much is in the pot, but I show up for the rest of my stack. It's and so I have like 250 invested in the pot at this time. Uh, the guy like insta calls. He turns over queen six of diamonds. It was so sick. Um, and then a few hands later, I don't, maybe not a few hands later, but a little while later in that session, um, I had a six of clubs uh, in on the button, and their guy had raised an early position to like eight dollars and I called and one other guy called and the flop came a six three the guy let out I raised him the the third guy ends up calling and he calls and the turn is another three so it's ace three six three um they all check it to me and I just I'm I'm what I'm thinking is like there's only like four or five is the only draw out there and I'm thinking they both have big aces um so I shove and there's like 120 in the pot at this time and I had like uh 80 behind or something like that I'm not even sure um I shove one guy calls the other guy folds and the guy had three five and he turned uh, a third three it was pretty sick I ended up losing 700 that night and after that I, just, I just left after that hand I couldn't take any more um, but since then I, I've over the past week I'm, I'm back to where I was 